Hi, this is Tara Combs with Alfresco, and today we're going to give you a quick overview of Alfresco Governance Services and Simplify to show you Manage in Place. So you can think of Alfresco as a hub for information governance and using our partner Simplify, we can actually do manage in place of your content with systems like Documentum, FileNet, SharePoint, or Office 365 in this case, but also then other systems like Box or Google Drive or manage your email directly from the Exchange server or your Lotus Notes system or capture content from your structured systems like your databases, NoSQL. We also have integrations for systems like Salesforce or SAP. But you can think of our governance application as the umbrella around all these different systems to allow you to manage your content as records. So today we're going to look at managing in-place records in Office 365 and FileNet. So what we have here is the Simplify interface and you can see that I have jobs running. I've already ran my Office 365 to Alfresco and it read 11 files and it wrote 11 files and actually it didn't really write those files. It wrote stubs so that we're aware of those files but they don't really exist in Alfresco. Just the metadata about those files exist and you can see as I'm updating we're still writing some files from the FileNet system to Alfresco, so it's read 103 files and it's written 76 so far, and as I continue to refresh, we're still writing additional files. So we'll let that job continue to run. And now we've written 103 files to Alfresco, or as I mentioned before, not really files, but just metadata. So we can look at our Office 365 and we can see that we had 11 files in there and we'll switch over to IBM Content Navigator and our FileNet system and we can see that we have a bunch of documents in here as well and those again are the files that we, and I'm going to use the word stub, but really just wrote a link to show that they existed um, in Alfresco so that we're aware of it. So when we look at our document library, first we're going to look at our SharePoint folder. So I'm going to do just a quick refresh here. And we can see that we replicated the folder structure from SharePoint. And we can see that now, again, these are zero byte files. So again, they're just stubs that we're aware of that exist from those files in our SharePoint system. So what's happened in the background, you'll notice is a little icon has appeared and that is an indicator that this content has actually been linked to the content in the SharePoint system. And when I click on the document itself, what we do is link it so the user is able to view the content. So they don't have to actually go into SharePoint from Alfresco to see the content. And we've linked the metadata as well so we can actually see information and we've captured some information as well that we're going to use to uh, declare that as a record and we can see that it's sitting in SharePoint as well. So now you can see an icon has appeared and this gives you a visual cue that again we had rules running in the background so with Alfresco we have a business rules engine and we can automate the records declaration and filing process and so again based on that metadata that we had tagged that it was a SharePoint record we actually will, when we go over to our file plan, be able to see that it was filed automatically as a SharePoint record. But again, we give you a visual cue that this has now been declared a record. And again, when we click on our document, we'll be able to view and see the records metadata that's associated with it. So you'll notice that also there's a limited set of actions available now. So uh, as an end user, I'll be able to download this. Um, we also have the ability to add a security classification or a security mark to this document. As we continue to scroll down, we can now see it has a record ID associated with it, a record category, so it's a SharePoint Office 365 record. I do have the record instruction to destroy immediately so that you'll actually be able to see us destroy something in SharePoint. And again, we've identified it as a SharePoint record. So now we're going to switch over and take a look at those FileNet records that we brought in.
our file net again stubs that we brought in so we're gonna go over to our file net folder and we again brought things into a folder called simplify so we can see that we have a number of documents in here uh, 101 to be exact and if we look at again our IBM content navigator our file net system we can see that it matches there so we're going to switch back to alfresco and in this instance we actually had the rules do something a little bit different um, we had them link as well, but in this case, we actually am having them move into the file plan. So we're going to notice that objects are disappearing from this folder. So as we refresh, we'll see this number count um, continue to go down as they're being moved over into the file plan from this live document folder. So we'll let it refresh here and reload the document library. At this point, we're down to just one document, so we'll refresh again. We could see that it was a record at that point already. And we're down to zero files at this point. So now what we're going to do is actually go over and take a look at our file plan, and we can see where these records have been filed. So first we're going to start and look at our SharePoint records. So we've set up just a sample file plan for our ABC company here and we can see our Office 365 records and we did keep our folder structure for the EPA records um, so again we can see our new records that have been added here they were filed today again you can see that they are linked to the Simplify content um, they've already been cut off so we've got our destroy option available and if we go to our bottom one study of first graders shows fetal alcohol syndrome what we're going to do is just destroy this and so it tells me you know do you are you sure you want to destroy so we'll do our first okay and are you really sure you want to destroy so we're going to do our second confirmation tells us that it was destroyed and we chose to retain our metadata at time of destruction so that we could generate a certificate of destruction or a destruction report proving that we followed our file plan and deleted things when we were supposed to delete them so what's left at this point is metadata showing that we did destroy the record um, and now if we go over to our SharePoint system and we refresh we'll see that that document no longer exists in SharePoint so there's no study there. So we successfully destroyed from SharePoint. Okay, so let's just pick another um, document here. So just so we can show you that again, and we'll do this, I could provide the window to the brain. Um, so again, we can see that in SharePoint. If we go back into Alfresco, we'll locate that document here. And we're gonna again, just do a destroy, do our okay are okay again wait for the system to tell us that it's successfully destroyed and again we'll refresh back in SharePoint and we can see that that document has been successfully destroyed from SharePoint so now we'll take a look at our file net records and we broke these up when we um, actually moved them into three different policies so um, in this case they were insurance records and we can see that um, we have some from earlier this year but we'll scroll down and we can actually see some that were March 5th or April 5th in this case so what we're going to do to show you that these were successfully deleted is I'm actually going to move these into my SharePoint or into actually a transitory record here and we're just going to move this one and my transitory records typically only have a uh, immediate destruction on them so when we go into this record folder we'll see that here's the one that we just filed so we'll have to wait just a few minutes for it to be cut off okay so we can see that it's now been cut off so it's ready to be destroyed we have our destroy option and again um, we'll take a note that it's AA0655643 underscore IND live trim 
Um, so we'll go ahead and choose our destroy option. And it tells us that, um, again, ask for that confirmation. Are you sure you want to destroy? Are you really sure you want to destroy? We'll wait for our message telling us that it's been successfully destroyed. And this time we chose not to retain that metadata. Again, this uh, little icon gives you, again, the visual cue that it came from another repository. So we're going to switch back over to our... Um, repository and we can see that it exists here so we're going to refresh and we can now see that our 655-643-IND TRM file has been destroyed from our FileNet system. So again it's a great indication how Alfresco Governance Services and Simplify can be used to manage content and records in place throughout its life cycle without having to migrate content into a centralized repository. So with that I'd like to just finish up with some key differentiators um, using Alfresco Governance Services. You know, we are the only open source DoD 5015 certified solution. Uh, we're also based on open standards so the way that we connected up to uh, FileNet was using the CMIS um, standard. We are a fully integrated platform from ground up, so we're the only vendor that built content process and governance from the ground up to be fully integrated. We also are the only ECM vendor that can manage media's records in the same repository as your content. Also providing invisible information governance. So as you saw today in our example, we can automate the declaration and the filing using our business rules engine and process engine as well. And then manage in place. So leveraging our partner Simplify to manage records where they live without the need for migration. We also can provide very flexible and granular security using our role-based access and security classifications and marks. So thank you for your time today and please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or would like to see more.